Hello and welcome to the JISC Psychology podcast series. I'm Dr. Keon West of the Institute of Psychological Sciences at the University of Leeds. And I'm here to talk to you today about whether or not psychology is really a science. All right, so to talk about whether or not psychology is really a science, I'll have to cover a few things first. I'll have to talk about what a science is. And of course, in doing that, I'll also have to talk about what a science is not. And then I'll talk about what psychology is. And then, of course, I'll have to also talk about what psychology is not. And then after that, I'll give you a few examples of what I do when I do psychology, so that you understand how we do psychology, especially here in Leeds at the Institute of Psychological Sciences. If you look up the definition of the word science in multiple dictionaries, you'll get something that looks more or less the same as you go across them. I'll give you an example here. Um, that's science, a noun, the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. And the physical and natural is in brackets there because what I'm trying to emphasize is that, yes, all we study is in the physical and natural world, but if there were any other worlds to study, you could study them scientifically as well. It's not limited to just the physical and the natural world. And again, we see a second one, systematic knowledge of the physical or material world gained through observation and experimentation. So science refers to that body of knowledge that you get through observation and experimentation. Those are the key words in that definition. Science is about knowledge gained through observation and experimentation. So if science is about knowledge gained through observation and experimentation, that means that science is about demonstration and justification. If in science you make a claim, so you make the claim that spending time with people from other groups makes you like those groups more, you have to be able to demonstrate that this is the case and to justify what you have said by backing it up with experimental data, any kind of observable, verifiable facts. Science is also about studying the world. So you can study anything that exists in any realm of reality or in any way, and you can study it scientifically. Science is also about testing hypotheses. So if you have a question, any kind of question that has an answer, science can give you a factual answer to it. And science, of course, is about increasing understanding. And this is very important. There is the perception among some that scientific views are stable. But of course, they're not stable. They can't possibly be stable. We're always increasing our understanding of the world. We're always increasing our knowledge. And with every new advance we make, we have to change our knowledge. And we have to change our belief set in accordance. So what is believed by scientists today should not be what is believed by scientists 100 years from now. We should always be making advances.